Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today we're going to be talking about my career. We're going to be talking about additions, new features, things that have been taken out of my career, and the mold in general. But uh, the first thing that I want you guys to do is I want you to vote for me. No, I am not running for president. No, I am not running for hall monitor. Actually, I want you guys to vote for one of my my players. And what I mean by this is, this year I'm making two my players. It is confirmed. I'm making David iPod King Carter, which is my point guard, and I'm making David Carter, which is my small forward. So what I want you to do is to go to my website, iPodKingCarter.com, and vote for one of my players to go and try to get drafted by the 76ers. Now, if you can't go to iPodKingCarter.com and you, and you want a link, go inside of the description. It's the first link inside the description. You can't miss it. Make sure you click, make sure you vote, and you know, leave a comment inside the comment section on why you made that vote. But moving on, let's talk about my career this year. Now, last year in NBA 2K14, everybody was kind of pissed that we had the Rookie Showcase. So guess what? The Rookie Showcase is gone. Everybody was kind of, you know, not impressed by Jackson Ellis being your rival and only being like a 70-something overall. So guess what? Jackson Ellis is gone. But what NBA 2K15 actually has done this year is they are going to focus on team relationships and to play the game of basketball correctly, which means you will now have coach satisfaction that actually matters and you will have mentors, your teammates or the best player on your team that actually will teach you things that you need and the interaction will be there, which also means all that recording that they did all summer of all these different type of NBA players, all the Instagram posts, that's what this was for. So, you know, you it won't be those cutscenes where you just see a player and he's just moving his head and you're reading subtitles. Everyone will have a voice, even you. Now, uh, as it goes for the player, you can choose from two different voices. You can choose from a new voice that they got that's kind of like real slow, you know, chill. Or you can pick the voice that we've all heard, you know, in a, since NBA 2K10. Now, uh, the next thing on the list is um, in, in the introduction video, um, you do go undrafted, but you do have a new free agent. So the free agent is not your best friend anymore. The free agent is, I mean, not the free agent, I'm sorry. Your agent is actually an agent, you know, somebody that, you know, does this for a living and makes a paycheck and is going to be making money off you. Now, um, the reason that you go undrafted this year is because I think 2K either didn't have time to fit in a draft choice or that they just want to see where this storyline goes to probably try to make a choice next year. You know, I hope I hope they add all the old stuff though. But um, when you do go undrafted, right? Um, the opening scene is you spazzing out. You know, you're supposed to be there in New York getting drafted, and your agent walks in and promises to you that you know the world will fall in your lap. And after that happens, basically, you will sign a 10 day contract with the team if you make this team. Now, the premise of making this team is that when you choose whatever team you want to go to, yes, you can choose whatever team you want to go to because you are not drafted. You know, you have a choice. Um, you pick the team and you play one quarter. It is up to you for one five minute quarter to try to get an A plus grade. If you get an A plus grade, guess what? You're going to be with that team for 10 days. If you don't get an A plus grade or you get a lower grade and you know they, they really don't want you, other teams will actually be interested in you. So you will have a choice of going to another team. I don't think you're going to go to the D League this year, guys. Now, uh, after you do that, you're on the team for 10 days, right? So remember that coach satisfaction thing is big. Remember last year and, and you know, the year before that, they had the little things pop up saying, you know, do this goal, do that goal, score 10 straight points, do this, do that. You know, that helped you out. This year it's all about point of emphasis. You have to listen to your coach. If you do not listen to your coach, guess what? You're gonna get dropped after 10 days. And guess what? You may go to a poop team or you may even go to a team with a great roster and never get burned. I'm just gonna put it to you like that. So if you wanna stay with your team, you definitely want to listen to the coach. 
um, for instance, uh, player emphasis, uh, play tight on shooters, limit perimeter shots, do that. Feed the post, make sure you stop the fast break, do that. If you do not do this, the coach will not like you. So it's up to the coach and the GM to drop you and you will get dropped. So if you want to stay, do right, play simulation basketball and good things that happen for you. Uh, now, the best thing about this whole 10 day contract thing is that you will be a free agent after one season but the worst thing about it is you don't start in october like everybody else you actually start after the new year which means all the rookies that are in the league will have one up on you they'll already have uh two months of stat no three months of stats you know of you know their points their assists their rebounds and it'll be up to you to ball out from january all the way to the playoff starts to try to make it up so I think it's really going to be challenging to get rookie of the, the year this year. But of course, there are going to be players out there that buy their guys up to a certain point to try to stack up and say, you know what? I'm going to get my points. I'm going to get my assists. And I'm going to get my goddamn rookie of the year. So, you know, big up to y'all. You know, you buy your my player up to a certain point, probably like an 82 or 84, whatever type of overall. Then, you know, more power to you. I might even do that shit, you know, but um, check it. The next thing on the list is when becoming a free agent, right? Whatever team you go to, like say for instance, I go to the Sixers and I end up on the Cavs for whatever reason as a point guard riding the bench and we win the chip, but I did pretty good. I can choose to try to get picked by the Sixers or try to, you know, play the market. And if I do get chosen by the Sixers, guess who my coach will be in my second year in the NBA? doc rivers now the reason why doc rivers is going to be my head coach is because that's the way the storyline plays out what's going to happen is doc rivers and you are going to have more of an intense relationship unlike you know the coaches from last year and what happens is he'll expect for you to perform be focused and you know be ready for all type of game situations so it's going to be like you know tutorials pre-game meetings you know with other assistant coaches going over the point of emphasis so it's going to be a big thing about you learning how to play basketball now i think that this whole thing about you know learning to play basketball is because the park or you know the new name my park has kind of been redefined what's gonna happen is if you want to buy your my player up and you know get attributes and stuff like that yeah go ahead but what's gonna happen is you're gonna be capped and you're gonna be forced to play my part now the reason for this is because once you earn rep and VC what will happen is as your rep goes up different unlocks will happen so uh, let's say for instance you know you need like a, a 90 three-point shot but it's capped at 80 but you got to go to the park and earn like a level all-star rep or something to get 90 once you do that you get your 90 you go back to the my career and, and you know you, you be chilling but also what will happen is the new badge system which is the old signature skills you can't get a badge until you do a certain amount of those moves like say you posterize for instance if you posterize let's say 10 to 20 guys in the nba i think you unlock the bronze level of the posterizer badge and then after that i think you can either buy the badges you know for like a silver or gold or you still may have to earn them or you can probably only purchase them once you uh raise your rep on the uh my park joint but uh you know that's that's just how it is with that now uh check this out you can skip games in my career which means it's not just key gaming like say for instance uh i got the bucks uh, four times in my schedule right I can skip all four times if I don't want to play them I don't have to it's not key game specific is is it actually game by game basis so if you don't want to play a team you don't have to play a team if you think your team is good enough to be the team without you actually playing the game then go ahead and simulate now um I have some great but disturbing news a lot of people asked will we be able to change our jerseys in my career the answer is no and you want to know why you personally can't change your jersey the system will change your jersey so for instance for the teams that have 
uh saint patty's day jerseys christmas jerseys you know all different types of uh low heat and you know uh low spurs and all those different types of jerseys those teams when they have those games during their schedules in a regular season that's when your player's jersey will switch so it will be default home in a way until specialty nights so don't expect to go to the player menu and you know choose sides like my gm or my league and think that you're going to change your person's jersey to whatever jersey you want no it won't go like that the system the game itself will change the jerseys when those specialty nights happen all right um what's another thing on the list now uh let's talk about the badges like athleticism rebounding interior scoring perimeter scoring playmaking and defense now what will happen is when you earn these badges they're all in different tiers so it's a total of 77 badges for your my player now right now currently lebron is the highest with like uh mid to high 40s but if it's a, a total of 77 how many badges do you think your player can get now check this out um the in-game bumping of your overall abilities is in the low 90s ratings cap so let's put it like this if you buy your my player or whatever the highest he can go before you have to try other things will be like low 90s like a 92 or 93 maybe now this is probably because there are only four players in the actual game that are 90 overall plus which is tim duncan chris paul kevin durant and lebron james so i'm gonna tell you now if you want to get your player up it's going to take a lot now um is there anything that i have missed in my career i'm just going through my mental notes right now thinking 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 i think that's it but uh the premise of this is for my career skipping games individually and uh having specialty jerseys on game night is definitely something that was needed um i think people go a little bit too far saying i want to wear a throwback jersey every game in my career when in fact you're going with a storyline you know this is the real nba this is the storyline of your player you know if you want to wear throwback jerseys all game create a player put them on a team and start a my league simple as that I, th that's all i can say to you but um i'm looking forward to you know having a mentor on my team uh having coach satisfaction you know making sure i make you know brett brown proud you know as a sixer stuff like that you know i'm a big i'm a diehard Sixers fan man that's just how it is but uh i want you guys to not forget to vote for which one of my my players you want to go to the sixers david ipod king carter which is my pg or david carter which is my small forward i hope you guys enjoyed this info video make sure you like subscribe comment and uh, if there's anything that I have missed or any questions you have, please, I stress to you, put them in the comment section. I will answer the questions that I deem fit to actually respond to. If you just go off on a bender saying how much you hate 2K in the game and it's shitty, but you out there for the 12 o'clock pickup on midnight, I'm not going to respond to you, bruh. You can come on Twitter and we can have fun all day long. We can make it social. But if you comment in the comment section about a rant, I'm just going to pass that thing. I ain't going to mark you as spam. I'm just going to pass your comment. I'm going to keep on scrolling. But uh, this is IKC signing out. Hope you guys like the video. Seriously. Peace out, y'all. Yeah.